right, welcome to the second part of our tutorial. So now I have um, imported my DWG file. Now I'm going to start to uh, draw. But before that, I would like to explain to you those palettes. Um, why I have these favorite palettes here. How does it work? Uh, firstly, when you have closed it and you would like to have it there, you go to Windows, Palettes, and Favorites to get it. Um, these favorite palettes, these are my preferences, my uh, settings, my predefined settings. Then to create it, to create uh, some preference, some favorites, for example, for window, if you have set a specific uh, window, you have uh, already make it uh, to your um, preference. You click favorites and you save current settings as favorite, and you give it a name and hit OK. So that's how I have uh, favorites. And I have, you can also save your favorites. And like this, you don't have to reset every, every tools every time you're going to use ArchiCAD. And the same way, that's why I um, have set a template too. Because you see, for the template, everything is uh, predefined your working environment is predefined with the template and so every time you're going to start uh, working on ARCHICAD and you got that template done and you just uh, start from that and every settings is uh, already there like for me I have already set my uh, viewpoints my sections so I can directly use them um, I don't need to reset uh, to uh, customize my parameters alright so um, my favorites I have already given you with the file you have downloaded so we're going to load it now load favorites and tuto favorites open <laughs> replace alright so activate the wall tool activate the wall tool then double click external wall to activate it and we're going to start drawing our wall but before that make sure so I'm going to choose this uh, polygonal here and make sure your reference line is outside okay so now I start drawing this way this this Like that. So we are working with the DWG file and we have anchor point. Alright, so activate interior wall. Interior wall. Activate uh, settings. Uh, this is 15 and here is minus uh, 30 here is zero all right so enjoy it that like that You 
use this uh, toggle here okay when you have for example I would like to follow it like this but my wall is the other side so I just click here There you are, and um, now let's see that three D first. Hit F three. Okay, and. This. Okay, and you can right click and choose orbit or just hitting the O from your keyboard. Okay, so here we have this, uh, I don't know what is this, I'm just going to delete it. Okay. Now, click this fit in window to fit our drawing inside here. Alright, so this is it. This is it. Okay. So this is what we have drawn. Now activate the wall, external wall. And let's draw this. Choose this like that. Like this. Okay. When that is done, go to floor one. Then we need to choose uh, our reference, the which is the floor one. Bros, go to worksheets, floor one. Okay. So now um, we need this uh, to set parallel to our. Uh, ground floor. So what do we need to do? My technique is I go to the ground floor okay then I drag this first this point will be here like that okay so now I come back to floor one. Activate external wall. Okay. And now let's start drawing. that 
interior, activate the interior. Set this to 15. Here will be minus 30, 0. There you are. Okay. There you are. Let's go to the second or let's go and stay here and choose rows, choose floor two. And drag it. This point will be here. And now go to floor two. Activate external wall. This one will start here. Like that. Okay. Now interior. There is this missing texture here. It is minus thirty and zero okay this is 15 let's save that apply okay okay no zero 15 okay Okay, so I hold shift so that I have um, an orthogonal alignment. This here. <laughs> like that. here no okay when you do mistake you hit the backspace to come back press hold shift and the click okay from here to here directly there you are now from this one like this okay there you are now let's choose floor number um, three here okay 
and drag it to here. Floor 3. <coughs> okay, so now we need to do this here. So choose external wall, this, and uh, draw it like this. Another one from here to here. There you are. Now interior. Minus 30. Zero. 15. Check. <clears throat> there you are. So Let's have a little look in 3D, approximately our building. <laughs> okay, we have drawn all of the walls. Now, roof, we need to drag it. This point will be here. Like that. Okay. And Okay, activate the wall, striped wall, rectangular. F3, there you are. Alright, so th uh, that's it for this part and uh, see you to the next part, we're going to uh, do some modifications and customize some walls.